today in class, I had a handout and I was unable to share the handout with the virtual audience. So uh, what we want to do now after the class, and the class is dated uh, March 10th, 2024. The subject matter was testing our faith. And the scripture reference is found in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verses 5 through, through 11. Amen. Uh, so what I want to do briefly, uh, not to take up a lot more of your time, uh, praise the Lord, is let's take a quick look at the handout, and I'll run through it real quickly. Uh, hopefully your spirit will be excited and moved, and uh, you know, you'll share this with other people. Uh, but if not, it is what it is, but it's the truth. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Let me uh, share my screen for the audience. Praise the Lord. So when you look at, uh, we want you to start over in the far uh, top uh, left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, that's where the thought or the blessing came to me on last evening. Uh, since the, the, the subject matter of the lesson was about self-examination, because uh, as we discussed uh, in Sunday school, as well as pre-Sunday school with Heaven Embassy Church, uh, we looked at where Paul asked the Corinthian church to examine themselves, to do a self-examination because of the questioning that Paul was receiving uh, because of the fact that you had false teachers, uh, 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 Gnosticisms, uh, people thinking that they know everything. And uh, since we never know the date or the time of his return, then uh, the false teachers started to point at Paul and question his authority. Uh, was it really given of Jesus on the Damascus road? And even uh, on this uh, broadcast, you can see that Paul received his, his sight on Straight Street, and just look at Acts 9-11, the name of this broadcast of clarification. So every Sunday, every Sunday, we start off with the name of our church, our pastor's name, whether it's on Thursday with Pastor Larry D. Shannon of Tupelo, Mississippi, or if it's on Sunday, with Dr. J. Roy Morrison of Los Angeles, California, pastor, lead pastor of Mount Pleasant. But listen, then I conclude with what the date is. For instance, today's date of this broadcast is March the 10th, 2024. So when you go to my diagram, and this is of the Lord, my question to the audience and was, what's today's date? So it can be any date. Whenever you view this, it doesn't matter. This is, this is fluid. You know, God is a living God. Here we go. So it says this, what is this date today and time right now as you look at this broadcast what is this gauged upon or created from? Amen. Are you living uh, by any time zone? 
the answer is yes, whether you say no or whatever you may try to say, because you know the way that the world operates. And last night we had a time shift of uh, an hour forward, spring forward, fall back. And so uh, everybody's a bit discombobulated today because of the shift in the time. But if you're not on God's time, then that means that didn't bother you because you're on your own time. So this is where the dilemma comes in. Listen to me, please. Praise the Lord. God told Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree of knowledge. You see this uh, thought? These are thoughts when you see that depiction. So God said to Adam and Eve, do not eat of the tree of knowledge because God wanted to teach humanity God's ways. Instead, we got ahead of ourselves. Eve, Adam, ate from the tree of knowledge and found out about the world. You know the story. When God returned to them, they were hiding, naked, because they had seen who we are without God. Amen. So, and because of that, sin came into the world because what's the first commandment? What's the first commandment of the Ten Commandments? Is that thou shall have no other God before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No other God shall be before him. But when we took a bite of the apple, Lord Jesus, help me. Then the most important date became our birthday. It became all about us rather than about God. You see, that's sinful because the first commandment says there should be no other God before me. And when we ate of the tree and we allowed the world to show us the world rather than waiting on God to show us who God really is and he's here today. What's the date? So all calendars, go down, it, all calendars and time zones are reconciled to the date when Jesus Christ of Nazareth lived on earth. Do not be fooled. It was of such significance that man made an adjustment. And so now, because we got ahead of God, all we want to think about is our birthday rather than God's day. We keep God first in all that we do because lastly, look at the heart, the heart of God. He's an awesome engineer. You know, we always talk about that the singing and, and praising that he's an excellent doctor and he's an excellent lawyer. But in my opinion, he's, a, he's the world's best engineer because of my realization of social and spiritual engineering, they drive us in certain aspects of our behavior. He has allowed us to of the ability of salvation, if we accept him, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as our Lord and Savior, and say it, uh, confess it, then one other discussion that we had also today is once you accept it, nobody can gauge how far or how deep your faith is. That is not a question. That's between, just like this, is between you and God. 
but he knows. That's why he has given us the calendar. Today is today's date in anticipation. I, I end with this. In anticipation of his return. And when he returns, it will be of judgment. There will not be any. The truth, as the lesson said today, is the truth. Whether you, me, the world accepts it, it's the truth. So I thank God. You know, this is the, 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 the we, we put ourselves from the beginning, sin was found. See, praise the Lord. Thank you. I hope you listen to this. I hope you share it and understand it. I'm available for any questions and comments. God is good, y'all. Let's try to continue to just worship him in truth and in spirit. Thank you.